Mexico State. Mexico State, yes. Bienvenido and Mexico State. And it's only 20 minutes till our spot where we're gonna camp for how long? I don't know, maybe like four days. Four days, if we really like it. Uh, and yeah, I found them in Facebook, sent them a message, they answered right away and said welcome please we're waiting for you we have fun showers wi-fi uh, place for dogs they allow dogs and it costs 250 pesos per car yeah all i care about is charging right now to make sure we can get the solar working again because that we dropped the power level too low uh, from being in 110 degree weather running the air conditioning and uh, so we got to charge. I mean, we got to get charged back up so the solar charger starts working again, the solar controller. So, yeah, we will check that place in 20 minutes and we'll show you. Feel tube Que es? Canela. Camida. Camida. Para coffee. Tell me how excited you are. That's a good girl. <laughs> Here we are. Are you going to venture in? Rancho Viejo. We were met by a really nice guy, Omar. He's the owner. And here is his place. The Rancho Viejo. Yeah. <laughs> So really, really pretty cool. We ended up at this place and um, apparently the host is having uh, her birthday. So we get we got uh, an official invite to, to the birthday Barbie. party. Yeah, Hi. so we I've got to get... I've never been Mexican birthday fiesta party. in general. Yep, we're hoping there's so really a lot excited. of fireworks, uh, a lot of blended margaritas, <laughs> and uh, a lot of really sloppy football or soccer as you might call it <laughs> no but we're excited and honored to have hey. an invitation and uh yeah i uh, will we'll uh we'll show you along the way look at you Hello. Oh, how are you looking good everyone welcome to rancho viejo gracias this is uh uh, uh he called it a um, cracker uh taco i believe includes crema, chopped cilantro, and salsa non picante, as our friend here says. And then I, I saw the bottle, salsa extreme picante. <laughs> I think they might be bringing in live music, and that's what I was really excited about. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for dancing. Yeah, I want to see a dance party break out after this mariachi pulls out his guitar. The whole team, like, on cue. I want to see some synchronized stuff here, too, because this is one entire family. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
gatos y los cubiertos. Sí. Mmm, looks riquísimo, which means tasty. Spirit finger. What do you have? <laughs> everything. I got something of everything. Bit of I don't even know what it all is. Uh, tortilla? Huh? Tortilla azul, uh, eros, mm, cilantro, cilantro, oil right yeah. here. Uh, another mystery. green stuff mystery. with oil. Pollo, mystery. Chicken and chips. Pollo. One chips. Look how healthy it is, huh? One chips. But it's a pork rind, so it's like a quadruple chip. <laughs> bon appetit. They got a real Mexican pinata. Snake bake. What do we got? Oh, there's Cheetos in there. Okay, I'm getting in on this pinata. That's for sure. Finally, woke up early to visit this place. Yes, we did. And it happened to be the day that my back is totally screwed up after sleeping on that bed. Yeah. They also do hot air balloons here. So you can fly over pyramids, you can see it. They did a uh, night show before pandemic, but now it's it's over for a while, I guess. Bajar aquí por favor a hacer su pago y tomarse temperatura y gel. I see. How much did you pay? We paid 250, so we had to pay 80 per person. Uh, we had to pay 45 for parking for the van, and then uh, another 45. You decided to video record them, so they noticed we had a GoPro. Yeah. And they've charged us 45 pesos. 45 for cameras. For non-professional cameras. Non-professional. They didn't see this one. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about crowd, there are more sellers. <laughs> the actual Thank visitors. You. Yeah, the visitors. Although, I mean, we did get here right when the gates opened. Yeah, but uh, Look at this. Omar, the owner of uh, the place we're staying, said, Oh, you guys have to be really early, like right when they open the gates, because there are limited uh, amount of people can enter this place every day, which is 3,000. 3,000, yeah. And we're like, oh my god, maybe we should go, like, stay in line to buy tickets. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there were nobody. Yeah, but either way, depending on the time that you're coming, if you're coming on the weekend, it's during the peak season, they still have limitations, then I would definitely get here earlier, just to make sure. Or um, if you're coming from, uh, I mean, if you're planning on walking here or something like that, you know, make sure you show up at, you know, 9, 9.30, something like that. I would go even earlier because uh, that's where you can see balloons and it's, it looks magical.
see the sun with this thing. I have this. Yeah. I can see the sun without it. Yes, this subsidiary. It's blinding. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's bigger. Nice. Calendar? Yes, calendar. Daddy, wake up! Thank you, buddy. Daddy, wake up! We miss you! Uh, you don't see me coming and licking your face during the siesta. <laughs> So far, Cinco de media, hoy. That means 5:30 today. It's gonna be done. <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a happy face of a person who just got. <laughs> Her, I can take off my her, Cheeto her clean clothes back. <laughs> oh, I hope nothing is missing. <laughs> There's always one or two things <laughs> they really like. <laughs> oh, you look good with this. You have to think about new job. Eh? New jobs, my. Right. Oh, clean clothes delivery. Ropas para everyone. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are having veggie tacos. What do we have? Guacamole, we made. Crema. Tortillas. Lime, of course. Rice with minced tomatoes. And veggie. And sleepy Kyle. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. You verdict? Um, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for being just veggie tacos, those are pretty damn good. Thank you. Yeah. You guys ask for some drama. Here it is. Oh, it's just a little guy. It's a tick number four on me or in me. <laughs> One tick per month. Not a bad statistic. 
Okay. With head? Just like that. With the head? With the head. Good. Thank you, Dr. Mana. Mm-hmm. My pleasure. <laughs> pleasure, really? <laughs> yeah. Do you need anything else inspected <laughs> while I'm here? Oh, God. I hate those guys. <clears throat> I hope it's not infected. <laughs> What's up guys? So uh, we just uh, are leaving Teotihuacan. Uh, we had an amazing stay at uh, Rancho Viejo, oh, the old that ranch. that was wonderful. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was really nice because we were the only ones there and, uh, and their dogs yeah. are super friendly. And yeah. uh, so our dogs got to run around, but- uh, And they know, are super friendly. Yeah, they're super friendly. Um, they invited they had, us to their birthday. Yeah, that was that was fun. The birthday that was, was really was a unique lot of fun. experience. To be on Mexican birthday. I was really hoping somebody would fire a gun because that's kind of like what I think of <laughs> at a Mexican when you expect. party. Is everybody like at the end, even grandma pulls out her <laughs> Colt 45 and shoots one in the air. But uh, unfortunately, well, well fortunately, fortunately, we did at probably. least get to see a pinata. Yeah. Uh, Mexican, true Mexican pinata. Uh, that was cool. That was the first time actually I didn't know about it. I saw them. Um, I saw people selling them around, but I didn't know what for, but now I know. Yep. Uh, but uh, Teotihuacan, I mean, I think I was uh, way more impressed than what I expected. expected. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it has really uh, interesting history, first of all, and it looks amazing. Yeah, super interesting history. The, they don't really know uh, who originally built it. The original builders it could have been somebody that emigrated there it could have been local tribes that came together and built it um, either way they know for sure there was a lot of uh, sacrificing done yeah. in Teotihuacan and not just people they sacrificed uh, eagles uh, pumas jaguars uh, what else dogs uh, wolves Coyotes, I mean, maybe mm. pretty much everything they could get their hands on Probably, were considered yeah. like animals of prey uh, yeah. because it was uh, an honor to the god to kill something that could kill, but that was like a warrior status. Right? Uh, Teotihuacan translates as a city of gods or city where gods were created or born. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, just from a visitation standpoint, you know, they had the you couldn't walk up the pyramids, which you could before, just because of the pandemic. That was, it was so sad. Yeah, that was too oh, bad. There were a couple of I pictures really to go that I had in, had in mind. Luckily, I was able to get a, a few of those pictures with the drone. Uh, but uh, I, I would say overall, super impressed. I would use uh, Puerta Cuatro or Puerta Tres, mm -hmm. uh, gate, Entrance. gate uh, three or four because those will take you right to the heart of the pyramids instead of making the uh, two and a half kilometer walk yeah, all the, the way up the residential see, part. Even before you enter is a pyramid of... Pyramid of the... Sun? Sun. Sun, right. Yeah. And that's where your adventure well, it starts. Well, depend, it depends on which one you go into. If you go into <laughs> four is pyramid of the sun, three pyramid of the moon. Um, but anyway, uh, super recommend. Yeah, totally. Yeah, the history was uh, amazing. The uh, the pyramids were awe-inspiring, and uh, that was our first pyramids. Those were we, first pyramids we ever seen. Yeah, and I want to see more now. Yeah, Pyramid of the Sun <laughs> is uh, one of the I think top five biggest in the world. I read, and uh, it's the third you might fact biggest check me on construction that. in Mexico. Third biggest. Uh, highest. Third highest construction, even against modern things. No, no, no. no. <laughs> anyway, super recommend and uh, signing off for this one. Next, we are going to head to the mountains. To the mountains. Yeah, we're just going to check out uh, one of the cool hiking mountains here. What's it called? Arizaba. Arizaba. It's not yep. just cool mountain hikes. Okay. It's the highest peak. In Mexico, okay, Mount nice Arizona. In Mexico. Yeah, we uh, uh, we didn't necessarily we didn't bring our gear to uh, to hike it, uh, but uh, we're definitely gonna take a peek at it. All right, adios, guys. Till next time.